You guys been asking how to recreate this iris blur with heat map in After Effects that I made first in Photoshop. By the way, if you want to check that out, I'm going to leave a link in the description. So here's an example of that and let's take a look how to make it. Create a new composition, type in text. I'm going to go with uh, 1080p, 9 second, black background, click OK. Select the type tool, type in something, put it on the left, press the letter S, scale it up. Now you can align it to the center and let's go here, right click, click on new composition, type in blur, click OK, drag and drop the text into the blur comp and I'm going to right click here, click on new, select solid, type in mask, click OK. Let's go to the effects and presets, type in gradient ramp, drag and drop the gradient on the mask and we're going to go to the linear ramp, change it to radial ramp. And if you go to the top center, you can see this little circle. If you drag it, you can bring the radial wherever you like. But as you can see, it is distorting it from the bottom center. So for example, if I bring this into the center, because that's what I want, I go to the bottom center and check this out. We got another circle, which we can manipulate this gradient. We're also going to need to increase the intensity. So let's go to the effects and presets, type in level, drag and drop the level under the gradient ramp. Let's go to gamma, decrease to 0 0.5, and now it's more dense. And now comes the tricky part. Let's go to the track mat. If you don't have these settings, you can go to toggle switches, and it's going to show or hide. So I got a toggle switch. Let's go to text, change it to mask. Right now it doesn't show anything, but let's go to this little square circle, and we're going to click on alpha mat selected and it's going to change to loom mat selected and we're going to need to invert it and let's go to this box click to invert the mat now these options are available in the latest after effects they change the user interface quite a bit so make sure to update your after effects and now if you select the gradient ramp and you pull these little circles you can see it's going to show some like that i'm also going to bring the circle here so now we're going to go back to the project and we're going to bring this text again in at the bottom and we're going to go to the effects and presets type in gaussian blur and drag the gaussian blur on the bottom text we're going to increase the Gaussian quite a bit. So if I increase it more, you can see this is sharp, this is blurry, but I'm going to decrease it somewhere around 50. But as you can see, these areas are still too sharp. So I'm going to select the Gaussian blur, press Ctrl C, and I'm going to go to the top text here and press Ctrl V here at the effects controls. And here I'm going to decrease the blur somewhere around seven, eight, nine, something like that. So if I go to the mask, and I select the gradient ramp. You can adjust the circles and it's going to make these parts blurry or non-blurry. And I'm going to animate it. So I'm going to go to the start of ramp, click on the stopwatch and click on the stopwatch at the end of ramp. And I'm going to go to the second second. And let's bring these dots to the totally opposite direction. And now it is animating. Press the letter U so it's going to highlight the keyframes. Select both, press F9 to easy ease. I'm going to select this one, press Ctrl C. I'm going to position this line here at the end, press Ctrl V. And then let's go to the very first keyframe at the bottom, press Ctrl C, Ctrl V again. So it's going to push it here and let's push it all the way out. So it's going to slow down the animation when it goes back and it's going to loop. Now we're going to go back to the project, right click here, click on new comp, type in heat map, click OK. Let's drag and drop the blur in the heat map comp. Right click here, click on new, select adjustment layer. Let's go to the effects and presets, type in colorama. Drag and drop the colorama on the adjustment layer. And let's go to the input phase, change it up to blur. And from here, we're gonna go to output cycle. I'm gonna double click on the cyan, make it black, click OK bring down the red where the cyan is and bring up the black somewhere here. And I'm going to press and hold control to create a duplicate of the black. I'm going to bring the purple here, bring the green next to black, yellow next to green and the blue here where's the purple. I'm also going to bring down the purple. It's too much in there. So if you bring it, it is going to go just like that. And now at least we're going to add some grain, type into the effects and presets grain drag and drop the grain above the colorama. And we're gonna go to the previews, click on final output. And here you can change up the presets. And that's how I make this really cool iris blur effect with heat map here in After Effects. Thanks for watching.